don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But I hear wolves. And I heard tracking. They sound close. I'm Tyler Wood Bushcraft. And I'm Justin Van Frary with Waypoint Outdoor Adventure. And I'm Mark from Rolling Olmstead. And this is the seven day extreme winter challenge, Northern Wisconsin. Obviously fire. That's my shelter right there. Definitely need to get that thing going, get it finished. It's absolutely freezing cold out last night. So yeah. So you guys can see me, it's still pretty dark out. It's like six or five, somewhere around that. Five or six in the morning, so need to uh, get a nice warm fire going, get all warmed up, stay tuned. It's a cold morning. Uh, big shout out to Infusco for uh, sponsoring this trip. Justin, what Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. <laughs> he uh, catch you snoring, Mark. <laughs> saw him logs. I thought for sure there'd be lots of firewood in there. And Fusco yeah, for the good times. The yeah. <laughs> Different types. Uh, which one is this, Justin? That's an Ethiopian Yurga chef, light roast. What he just said. So, big thanks to them. Uh, this is definitely going to keep us warm. As you can see, I got a lot of frost in my beard. It is freezing cold. My hands, they don't really want to work all, all that well right now because it's just freezing cold out and spilt coffee on me. So, when it starts getting warmed up and I can uh, start building on the shelter, so catch you guys later. Hey, welcome back. Tyler Wood here, Tyler Wood Bushcraft. I got my little toboggan. I got my Hidden Woodsman pack on. And the Walmart challenge is over. And I'll tell you guys why at the end of this episode. You ain't gonna wanna miss this. Some really crazy stuff went on. I owe a huge shout out to Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles and Justin Van Ferrari with Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. So stay tuned guys because at night before I get hunkered down, you guys are never going to forget.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put those pine boughs down as our flooring. We're gonna add a few more other things, but I wanna go ahead and put all that pine bough that I have on now and get a good idea on how much I need, how much more I need, if I need more or, or if what I have is enough. So as you can see, we got our shelter. We got our cross beam up on the top for some support in case it does snow, which I think Saturday and Sunday it's supposed to uh, snow like crazy. So we, we won't have to worry about the tarp collapsing on us. I will have my other final tarp right across the front here, but for your viewing pleasure, I left it off so you guys can see me put down the pine boughs. I uh, I went I went down to the uh, to that beautiful lake down there to get some uh, sand and and try to make some sort of a little fire pit inside, but uh, it was so frozen and only sand I can get to is pretty deep out there. And I, with it being negative 15 degrees today, I'm not gonna risk you know trying to get in there to get some sand for a fire pit. So I'm using that Walmart pot that I have. You see there's a nice little fire going in there. I just kind of want to see how it's going to work out. I'm going to close everything up and open up a bin on top and see if that hot heat will push that smoke directly up into that hole that I'm going to make. And uh, first I'm just going to burn it, you know, and see kind of where it's going. Uh, maybe put the, the door on the front, close it all up and see uh, where it's going to go. And they're good. Frozen beard. What's going on guys? I am uh, doing a quick update here. As you can see I got a whole nice bed of pine boughs to lay on. Hopefully that's going to be, well we're probably going to need a little bit more but my main goal is trying to keep that cold draft that comes up from underneath and seeking through it to, to try to chill me out. So I thought I'd just kind of show you the inside of the, uh, the cabin I'm working on and uh, I'll go from there. I know it doesn't really look all that high off the ground. But you gotta understand we are this is 
about three to four feet of snow underneath of us. So we're, we're about five feet in the air uh, with this project. So maybe even more than that. So I hope you guys enjoy and can't wait to uh, get this thing all finished. All right, you guys, here's a sneak peek with Justin Van Ferrari from Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. You want to tell the camera what you got going on here? I'm trying to get in my permanent shelter. So it's just a basic A-frame with a raised bed and a, uh, a sidewall that raises and lowers. Oh wow. So yeah. Now that's some bushcrafting right there. You got a little canopy system going on. So fireplace in here. You gotta get bunch of you still recording? Fireplace in here. And uh, then I gotta do the back wall. And I should be able to sleep in here tonight. At least that's my hope. Well, you guys heard it. You guys want to see the rest of this build and see how long it took him to do it? Go check out Waypoint Outdoor Adventures, Justin Van Ferrari. Booyah. All right, That's over smart. here we have uh, Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. And uh, Mark, you want to tell us what you're working on? Wood. Lots and lots of wood. Lots and lots of wood. No, I'm working on a smoker. But. As you can see, the pile of wood I have in front of me, that will last us probably maybe three hours. So we have to get triple this because it's going to get cold and uh, we're going to need some wood. Alright on. So there this you guys is the only have hardwood it. that we can find that's dry. Only hardwood we can find that's dry. So you guys want to see uh, this smoker and see how long it took Mark to build it and the steps it took to uh, build it. Go check out Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. He is one of the best cooks. I hope my wife isn't listening. One of the best cooks <laughs> I've uh, I've tried in quite a while. There's a sneak peek of his cabin. He's been doing some major upgrades on. Uh, if you guys want to know what that camel thing is, Mark will tell you all about it if you go check out his channel. That's Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. All the links to everyone's channel is going to be in the description down below, and I'll put some in the eye and some for the recommended viewers at the end of the, each video so you guys stay tuned all right you guys welcome back so i spent most of the day collecting all these pine boughs i went down and harvested a uh, a pine tree it was a cedar pine and i been using as much resource of that tree as possible i really don't like cutting down live trees unless it's an absolute must so even though this looks like a whole lot of pine boughs here, it's still not going to be enough to keep that cold draft from underneath. So what I'm going to do is use my wooby blanket to lay, lay it down over on top of that. And then of course the wool blanket, then my sleeping bag. And uh, we're going to get this thing looking more homey. More like a home. And there goes Justin. He's been hiking up and down all day with that big old logs. If you guys haven't seen Waypoint Outdoor Adventures throughout this series and the stuff that he has built, you guys are truly missing out. And that's Mark over there with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. If you guys haven't checked his channel out, you guys are truly missing out. He's got this beautiful cabin right behind us that he's been sleeping in. And right now what he's working on is a primitive smoker because we're going to have some jerky. So stay tuned to see that. Mark will have all the the uh, information and, and what he plans on uh, seasoning the uh, jerky with. So definitely check him out. Give him a follow. You guys won't regret it. Now with all that being said, it's time that we uh, do our official moving in. Over there for you. 
What's going on guys? I'm finally here. I got my shelter done for the most part. I got my tarps all wrapped around. I got all my stuff inside, made it real nice and cozy in there. I've been uh, gathering up some firewood for the uh, the little fire that we're going to have in there to get things warmed up throughout the night. Temperatures will be back in the uh, zero to below zero range. So I will, uh, let's go ahead and take you guys inside. We'll do like a bushcraft cribs uh, little series real quick. So stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this. What's going on guys? I uh, had to do a reshot here. I had already opened it because I thought I had audio on, but it's not. Yeah, my beard is just frosted over. That's what happens. Uh, it is gonna get below freezing temperatures tonight. Uh, I am using the uh, black and white fire starter candle that uh, Paul Corona, the owner and operator of black and white fire starters. Uh, uh, when you guys see me, it'll be morning. And uh, hopefully I won't be freezing in the middle of the night, so I'm going to hunker down, call it a night, so we'll see you guys.